Good morning, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Hope everyone's had an amazing summer. We're going to start the 2013-2014 MTEL Math Workshop Series looking at angles, uh, angles in geometry. These are going to be a whole new round of problems. Uh, this particular one is number 78 on the 53 elementary math uh, exam. Uh, that would be an exam for um, elementary school teachers that were parent that needed math certification, um, and particularly elementary teachers that wanted to be math teachers, like a math specialist. You'd want to take this. Um, if you were a special education teacher or a K through six teacher, and you didn't necessarily want to be a math teacher, I would recommend taking the general curriculum. Um, partly because the elementary is uh, this exam here. Although it says elementary math, it's you know it's got some advanced math, and it's a hundred questions. All right. In the general curriculum, although you may not like it, it's 45 questions with the open response. So it's something to factor in. But let's start now with number 78. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read the problem. Use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. It shows me this diagram. And then it says, what is the measure of an angle of angle n in the diagram above? It gives me answer choices. Now all problems have high, middle, and low sections. In geometry, the high is usually some sort of you know um, geometry concept, and it's a diagram. So just by looking at it, right away we can see, hey, it involves geometry and angles. Um, and then there's all obviously clues that are reinforced through through the question. The question has angles, and the measurements within the answers have degrees. This isn't. I know you're like, hey, that might be obvious. But, you know, you want to start identifying the core uh, language that's used when and, and types of uh, clues that you can use to very quickly solve problems like this. So I think what I'm going to do really quickly right now is just review the core stuff about angles. First, anytime you have two angles that form a straight line, that, you know, like we could say this A and B, form a straight line or add up to 180 degrees, we call these supplementary angles. That's the first fact you should know. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. If we had two angles, let's say, that were opposite each other, we could call these vertical angles, and they form a nice little V. Vertical angles are two angles that are op each, opposite each other and they're equal to each other. So if this is 57, this is also 57. Um, you should know that the interior angles of a triangle, we'll say this is A, B, and C, these inside interior angles always add up to 180 degrees. That's a really important fact to know. So I'll just write A plus B plus C, interior angles of a triangle, add up to 180 degrees. And then there's one more that's sort of the extension, the add-on, and that's this one right here. This is the one that's often left out and we forget. That's if we have an exterior angle like angle D. This angle D, because it's supplementary to A, we could say here, you know, um, A plus D is equal to 180. But really what you want to come away with is that since A plus something is 180 and A plus D is 180, then this right here, the sum of B plus C, has got to be equal to D. Now, that's the old exterior uh, rule, exterior angle rule, that the exterior angle here is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent angles, B plus C. Uh, I won't worry about that. Anyways, those are the basics for this problem. Now let's just solve the problem. And guess what? It's always come down to the basics. So I know I'm reviewing those. That's really what I wanted to do the video for, is to get you to know the basics. The problem, you know, that's just giving you more practice with the basics. All right, so I want to solve for n. Now there's a bunch of different ways I could go. I'm thinking, and I hope you're thinking this too, 
we could find out the supplementary angle here. All right, so the, what's the supplementary angle of 127? I'm looking for the I'm looking for something that's going to add up to get me to 180. Well, if I subtracted by both sides, I get that this angle here would have to be 53. 53 plus 127 would get me to 180. And I could always uh, do a bunch of different ways to uh, to check that, but I'm doing this relatively quickly. So 53. All right, that's my that's my angle inside here. Well, this one, this line here really kind of throws me off. I'm not so sure if I should deal with parallel lines. I mean, what do you think? Should I? I'm not so sure if I should deal with. I'm not even so sure how to deal with it. The thing is, that line there is sort of like a, a little trick in the problem. You don't really need it there. It's completely unnecessary. And what I be, mean by unnecessary is we could just erase it. And that's what you have to be able to do is there's no real value in having that line there. You don't need it. So if you don't need it, take it out. And the problem all of a sudden becomes a lot more clear. We got an inside angle here of 57. We got a vertical angle here, um, a vertical angle here of 57. We got a, uh, another interior angle here, 53, because of supplementary angles. This n, well, we could find out this third angle. That would be, right? You add these two up, and you get 110 for those two. And 110 plus what gets 180? 110 plus 70. So we could find out this is 70 and then I could find out the supplement here. Or I could remember that rule, that, that basic rule that we talked about just a moment ago. Remember that D, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the far two interior angles. In this case, we said that was C and B. In this case, that would be N is equal to the sum of 53 plus 57. And that just gets us to the answer 110 a lot faster. Okay, team, I hope you found this helpful. Check out more MTEL Math videos coming up. Definitely uh, attend one of the MTEL Math workshops. That's the whole idea behind these videos. Get you to review the basics and then apply them at the workshop. Great job, team. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a wonderful day. Check out one of the MTEL Math workshops that is coming up in Boston or in Cambridge. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.